you know, it's going to be a real challenge on Saturday. Will it be weird playing against Charlie? Uh, I don't know. I don't have to line up you know, across yeah. from him. Um, definitely be cool to see him, though. I haven't seen him since, uh, I don't know, May. So um, it'll be good to see him. You're not surprised by his success, are you? No. no he's a really good player. Have you been able to keep tabs with what he's been doing? Uh, yeah. yeah. I talk to him. You know, if not every week, probably every other week. So we keep up pretty well. Talk this week? Uh, we text a little bit, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're still amicable and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Is it cordial talk? Or are you talking trash? What's what's the what are the texts like? Um, it, it's been cordial this thus far. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, we'll, we'll see before you know leading up to the game. You know, I might I'll have to throw a couple jabs at him. But, um, <laughs> Yeah, no, it's, it's, all, it's all. Different energy when you come out of a, ending a three-game stage with a win and different energy the next week? Yeah, I think, you know, everybody can, you know, relax. You know, when, you, you know, when you're on a losing streak, you know, you probably get a little tense up. Things start to get a little, a little tough, you know, tight. Uh, but, you know, you get that, that, that win and, and breaking that streak, I think you can relax a little bit. Uh, you kind of like, you know, kind of, I don't want to say put a smile on your face, but, you know, things kind of kind of get less tense. And, uh, you can, you know, start playing a little bit more comfortable and everything like that. So I think, you know, the energy uh, is definitely, you know, a little, is a lot more upbeat than, than what it probably was a couple weeks ago with, you know, losing three games straight. But I think, you know, that, that, that win that we had against Northwestern, uh, you know, our offense was clicking on, on all cylinders, you know, special teams, defense was clicking. Uh, just having a game like that, you know, just brings, just, just breeds confidence throughout the entire building. You probably asked this, but going to be weird going against Charlie and Tyrone, those guys. Is it weird going against players that you know and stuff like that? No, it's not, it's not weird at all. I think I, I've had the opportunity to play a lot against a lot of people that you know I either played with in high school or I played with in Michigan. Uh, so I, I played Charlie and, and, and Tyrone, you know, for the past couple years in practice. And I think it's, I don't want to say it's no different than that, but you know, I'm, you know, it's going to be just like another, and it's going to be like us practice playing playing against them again, like we used to in practice. So it's definitely going to be exciting just to you know play, actually be able to kind of lay a, lay a hit on the match <laughs> instead of uh, in practice. So it'll definitely be fun. You see the numbers Charlie's putting up. Uh, is that you like that challenge that he's he's who's doing well, and that's going to be a challenge for yeah, the DBs. Yeah, I, I think you know we've we've had the opportunity to play a lot of good receivers this year. I think uh, I think the Purdue receiving core, not just Charlie, but I think the receiving uh -huh. core uh, is really good, really talented. And they have a quarterback uh, that can really put the ball in the money, and he's very experienced. Uh, they have. I said they have talented receivers. They, they make sure they get the ball in their hands because they know they can make big plays. So I think, you know, uh, we'll have just the same challenge that we had against Ohio State, the same challenge that we had versus Michigan when we played talented receivers. I think, you know, it just comes down to, to us DBs being on top of our game and playing our past responsibilities and making sure when those big plays get down the field that we're getting our hands on the ball. So I think it, 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 it's not nothing that we haven't faced yet, but I think, you know, just the style of offense that they have and, and as much as they do pass, um, unlike, I don't think unlike any other team in, in the Big Ten, really, um, you know, I think you know it's really gonna just come down to us, you know, making sure that we're you know we're sound on, on what we're doing as a as a especially as a D, as DBs and as a deep we can. So how he's how has he been so successful there? Do you think? Um, you know, I think he just fits the scheme well. You know, they they throw the ball a lot. Um, you know, like 50 times a game, and you know he, he's a, he's a fast kid and he can take it vertical pretty fast. So um, that's that's uh, a way that he kind of fits in pretty well. So so you're looking forward to this matchup. Yeah, it's going to be exciting. You know, I'm, I'm excited for, um, you know, to get back and, and, and face him and, and, you know, face Tyrone and, and, and face some of those guys. So um, it's going to be exciting. And, and you know, we're, we're looking at it. Um, we, we're respecting our opponent. And, and um, you know, this is another game for us. Um, you know, there, I see the significance uh, with, with the outside noise and stuff. And, uh, you know, we're, we're taking it, you know, just as, um, you know, another team. So. Why have they had so much success against you guys over the last couple of times? Um, you know, I think part of it was, um, you know, just trying to stay on top of, of routes, um, squeezing routes. Um, you know, sometimes uh, we, we, we can play routes a little soft and, uh, you know, they, they dink and dive down the field uh, with, with some of those type of routes. So um, I think just trying to squeeze on top of routes and, and stuff like that, we'll, we'll see some success. So. I mean, all, all, all along you knew this day would come where you'd be talking about going up against him, right? Or yeah, I mean, not I you personally, I'd but come like... out here and there'd be every question about Charlie. So <laughs> I was trying to prepare myself before I walked out here. Did you guys have some good nights downtown together? Or... Charlie, uh, I mean, we had some we had some good times together. We lived together during COVID, so me, Spence, and Charlie, so we got super close then, just building chemistry and stuff like that. But our paths are separate ways now, and can't look back and I just got to focus on preparing this week and playing my best game possible. So How his numbers you, his numbers surprise you at all? I mean, the amount of catches and what he's done? Um, I'm not really. I don't really like 
dissect his numbers after every week. I see him on ESPN when like the games happen and stuff. It doesn't surprise me. I know he was a good player, but just focusing on us and preparing for their DBs, not their receivers, because I'm on offense. How much do you talk to him? Um, <laughs> a decent amount. I mean, we're we're pretty close friends, so I I probably talked to him two weeks ago, just like wishing him luck and saying he had a good game and stuff like that. We'll go back and forth for a little bit, but that's really it. We're both busy with football right now, obviously, so that's it. I'm, I mean, your former teammates and their team, like this is an opponent that's giving you guys fits. Mm -hmm. uh, does that add some motivation, especially for the defense, you know, because they've done they've actually an offense that's done some stuff against you guys. Yeah, obviously um, we've had our struggles with them and we haven't won a lot of the recent games. Um, so, you know, we're going to have to go out there and, you know, execute. And um, like I was talking about before, like not, not changing our routine or anything just because of the past, but it is a new, new season and, you know, going through our routine and um, just going out there and executing a lot better. You look back at uh, last games, it's just like a couple things that just a couple big plays, a couple big missed assignments or whatever it be, communication, and, you know, that can just have a big effect on the game. Usually we talk about there's three to four plays every every game that are going to have a really big effect on it. So, um, but yeah, got to win, gotta win this game. When a game like that happens, uh, how does that feel? How does that? It's got to feel good when something like that happens and you watch it on tape, knowing that previous game stuff struggled. It felt great. We were all smiling, having a great time. The locker room was actually loud after the game, not silent. It felt amazing. How do you build on it now? Just keep chasing that feeling uh, in the locker room. Just know it's not a one-time thing. Just keep working towards it and keep working hard every day, not getting complacent because we just want to go. The O line find something the last week or so. You know, you had a lot of moving parts moving around. You're back in the starting lineup. Did, have you guys found something there? I think so. I mean, we just keep working every day. Beginner's mentality, just keep improving, and it'll start to click for us eventually. The running.